Hello, this is Vern, and if you're interested in attracting a conscious masculine guy and you've not been able to do that, on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing one big problem why this doesn't happen and what you can do about it starting today. So stick around. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life tv.com. Today's another edition of Get the Love You Crave. And on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing one big reason why women these days are unable to attract a conscious, masculine, awesome guy into their lives. So here's the situation. If you're a conscious, open, radiant woman and you have noticed that the kind of guy that you want is not being attracted to you into your life. It's rare that you see him, but when you do see him, it just doesn't click. Well, here's something that happens, and, I, and I'm curious if you can spot this in your own life. The energy, there, there's an energy that attracts this kind of man into your life, and that energy is typically open, vulnerable, vibrant, sensual, expressive, really cool, powerful things that unfortunately on this day and age you can't afford the luxury of stepping into as consciously as you'd want to why because if you did you don't just attract that conscious open guy you attract a bunch of other guys who have nothing to do with the kind of guy you want and it's uncomfortable as hell to be saying no all the time so the dilemma you're in right now maybe unconsciously is well how much should you open up so that you can attract the guy you want, but also not have to repel and kick people, uh, men around you, because they're sexually aroused by your energy or going deeper than you want them to go into, confusing your aliveness with a permission to engage in a connection with you. So there's, it's an art and a science, right? Because si you need to know that there is always the risk that the more radiant you are, the more, the bigger of the magnet that you are and the big, the more guys you'll attract of all kinds. So it's, here's the situation, here's one possible solution to it. You A, practice the art of opening more consistently and more consciously, and you practice the art of closing more consciously and more quickly. Why is that important? Because if you're going out and about and your energy is radiant and you notice unwanted attention, you want to be able to, if you want to deflect that attention instead of increasing your radiance, to either get out of the situation or if you have to be in that place, to cut off the radiance for the time being to avoid that kind of connection. Now, you don't have to, by the way. You can stay radiant and open. You just have to be more willing to say no or set strong boundaries but if it becomes even dangerous for you sometimes to do it then if it's dangerous you need to close up your energy here's where most women fail in this specific practice their active stance is closed versus open to the point that when that guy engages with you you're unable to open quickly enough in a way where it creates a spark so the situation is a missed opportunity so what's the solution to this? The solution is not just to be as open and vulnerable as you can every single day because it will become overwhelming for you to get that much unwanted attention, but it's also not to close off and not have to open. So you practice the art of opening at the deepest, most exciting level time and time again without human beings around you. You just have to practice that or you have to practice that in environments where it's safe so that it's still in your system, it's still an embodied practice where when push comes to shove, when the rubber meets the road, you're not rusty. It's not like, well, let me see if the oil, let me add oil and fuel to my machinery so that I can finally turn on the switch and like, it's too late by that point. Sometimes you have 10 seconds, sometimes you have two minutes to create a connection. So you practice the art of opening when you're not in the midst of the situation so that when the situation arises, you can go from having an energy that's more close to more open in a heart's notice. Now, am I suggesting that you go around with a closed energy? Not at all. I'm suggesting that you open and close as it suits you and your aliveness, but that you have the skill, that you learn the skill of closing when you need to and opening your energy when you need to as well. Hope this is helpful, useful, insightful in some way. If it is, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video or thumbs up. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, under the first line of the description of this video, you'll find a link that allows you to sign up to a masterclass I've created for you that can show you more specific ways of opening up in heart, mind, and soul 
to create the kind of connection you want with a man. Very simple, when you click on that link on the description of this video, you'll be taken to a page that allows you to click on a yellow bar, enter your name and email, and be taken to that masterclass right away. Thank you so much for connecting with me. As always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.